Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Gruel Frenzy. It's been a couple weeks since we have played the deck and uh, want to try it again. This is just the kind of deck that we can get a ton of mana in play and y'all know how much I like having mana in play. And we can have some really ridiculous turns therefore with having so much mana with Experimental Frenzy playing all the cards off the top of our library and everything. I've switched up the sideboard just a tiny bit, uh, adding in like a Shiv and Fire, adding in some Vivians. Hopefully that kind of helps us out in some different matchups. Got an extra Harpooner in here. So let's see if we can go crazy with Experimental Frenzy. Uh, the, so basically, if, if you don't really realize what our, the goal is of our deck is to get this out early and have Wayward Swordtooth be able to play multiple lands. So each turn we can get, you know, like if we have a Swordtooth in, we can get two lands off the top of our deck with Frenzy. And plus, you know, casting the spells and everything. We have Fight with Fires in here for removal spells because we get to kick Fight with Fire and deal a whole lot of damage everywhere. So kicking Fight, fight with Fire does uh, is pretty reliable with having Experimental Frenzy out for a few turns. Um, so unlike a lot of decks that like you want Experimental Frenzy to be your very last play, this one it doesn't really mind getting it out early, even if you have some other cards in hand, because it's just so powerful and it takes over the game time at, turn after turn. So that's what we got here. We got a nice Gruel deck. And let's go crazy with Frenzy. Okay, uh, I think this is a keep, but and lands are pretty important. So Swordtooth, while Swordtooth is great with Frenzy, it doesn't do anything early because you have to ascend before you can attack or block with Swordtooth. So it doesn't do anything early. So really we're looking at like having Lava Coil here and then kind of nothing until turn four. That's a land, that's a good draw. Program 9, getting that Tier 1 sub yet again for the fifth month in a row. Let's get some hype for Program 9. Thank you so much. And there you go. Thanks, Trent, for finding found that info about Contempt. For anybody else that was looking for that. Am I coiling a Firebrand? It is a good-looking Firebrand. I think so. Ooh, man, these roll sleeves are on fire. No, they're they're on fire. So I need to look into that. No, this is not my main deck in, right now. Ow. No, Thoughtseize is not real for War of the Spark. That was an April Fool's thing. Dang. Down to seven already? Would have liked to draw land. Treasure map doesn't really do anything for us. A land would have been better. Definitely. Ugh. I'd say opponent's hand was pretty good though. I guess maybe I need more things against Mono Red. I guess I don't really have a sideboard at all for Mono Red. That's a little bit of an oversight. See, so yeah, Cannonade's not even that good here. Hmm. So 
Yeah. <laughs> I guess we probably should have something in our sideboard for Mono Red. <laughs> uh, I could just play some Growl Harpooners. They block and stuff. Alright, come on in here, Harpooner. This doesn't... I mean, this kills some things. Doesn't kill the Firebrand. I guess we should... I don't know. I don't know if I really want to play that, though. Yeah, I'm just going to go with some har Harpooners. There needs to be some better green life gain these days, right, Hawkeye? Yeah, green decks need more life gain. Green red decks. Well, our sleeves are cool. <laughs> yeah, we need some Feed the Clan. So basically, we could have played Incubation, we could have played Mountain Incubation Druid, but the problem with that. Uh, is that then the next turn we'd have like stomping ground like if for some reason our creature survived would have preferred to not use the the shock land on turn three all right so we'll see which one of these they want to play if they strike my druid i'm playing phoenix they would have gone Pyromancer, I would play the Hellkite. Good news is we're still at 16. Because they've been using, even though they've played tons and tons of burn spells, they've just been. Killing some of our creatures with it. Oh yeah, this song's real tasty. So basically, you know, I thought they were going this turn exactly right, and I didn't want didn't want my Incubation Druid to die, so I just went ahead and coiled the Firebrand so we could get this thing in play. Are good. So assuming opponents like I'm gonna use like a burn spell to kill this Phoenix or something. Yeah, they do that. Hopefully it's not Chain Whirler. <laughs> oh my gosh. I could try to block and then activate Incubation Druid, but that's pretty risky. You're back, Gatsby. I 
All right, we're down to seven. Oh my gosh. Now we're pretty dead. Opponent had awesome, awesome hands. And we just don't, we don't have life gain in our deck, so we are very dead. Cable went out with Cox Cable. Yeah, I understand that life. There's all our lands. Man, very, very impressive showing from the mono red deck. Those games. Yeah, one mana draw two for mono red. Pretty strong, Hawkeye. Okay? Pretty strong. I mean, our curve was good. You know, like, our, our curve was good. We had a lot of things. They just had... They had just so much removal. It just killed all of our things. Well, usually... Yeah, usually the goal is not to be dead when you're playing your experimental frenzy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're facing the same match again, and I just don't have anything on my sideboard for red. This is just a real bad matchup for us. I don't even know really what to put. Like, what? What would y'all recommend of like having it in my sideboard for mono red? Just like Ripjaw Raptor. Crashing Brontodons and Riptar Raptors. You guys don't need to be saying the word cancer to describe Dex. Yeah, I mean, we could just play the whole Wild Growth Walker and J Light Branch Walker. Takes up a lot of slots, but we could. I mean, that would take out Incubation Druid and Land War Elf and all that kind of stuff. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's possible we could get some five fives next turn, which five fives are good. Our last opponent had, you know, like five plus burn spells both games. This time our opponent does not have five plus burn spells. It's better for us. I 
Hey, Zan. So we're going down to eight. I just kind of hope they don't have risk factor. That was the card that really finished us off both games of that the last time. Opponent getting ahead like this and just having risk factor for like their last card. Which they could of course still have here with this steamkin, being able to add three mana. We at the very least need a permanent. All right, that's a it's a permanent, not a bad one. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I can't play both. No. Oh, I just threw this away. I mean, we don't know what the next card would have been. can't play both we don't have we are not ascending yet so I wanted to play this deck with you know all this ramp for frenzy but yeah maybe I mean maybe it's just better to have wild growth walker and branch walker and jade light So yeah, I had to, I did put that on the bottom, but we don't we don't know what the next card would have been. It had to be a permanent that cost two or less. Treasure maps are just way too slow. I mean, I could try fiery cannonade. I I kind of feel like I played fiery cannonade against mono red before. Even though it's only good at killing like two of their creatures. I guess I'll play that over Harpooner. Yeah, the the problem with not blocking with the Lana War is we're going really low if we don't block. Lana War. On the draw I would definitely mulligan this. On the play, I'm going to just try this. Because we're not, we're not doing anything until, like, turn 5. <laughs> turn 3, we'll play Sword 2 that doesn't do anything. Turn 4, we'll play Frenzy that doesn't do anything. But you never know. Our turn 5 could be awesome. So I'd certainly not keep this on the, on the draw. And honestly, if our... If our red matchup was better, if we actually had, like, good cards against red, I probably wouldn't keep this either. But we don't really have good cards against red. Maybe Frenzy can do some incredible stuff and or our opponent have a really slow hand. Are we playing Gift of Paradises? Well, I am able to play Hellkite next turn. Hellkite's big. Guess I can do that instead of Frenzy. Yeah, we can play a 5-5. Five five. No. Four dinos is not worth it for Thunderherd migration. No, not at all.
We're taking six, going down to eight. Oh, never mind. Seven down to seven. So it'd be wonderful if we actually were if we actually stabilized here. It's very unlikely, but Hey what's up, DJ Polly B? Can your last card please be a land? And our mono, our mono red matchup is horrible. We need our mono red opponents to stumble. Neither of them did. So we could have like, I guess like Ripjaw Raptor in the sideboard. Maybe we just take out... Take out one of these harpooners and take out the Shiv and Fire. I know we're boarding in Shiv and Fire, but I didn't love the Shiv and Fire anyway. And you know, like how this really helps us too much, though. Yeah, the answer is it doesn't. Could just run it back and just hope we don't run into. Just hope we don't play red, mono red, and or they stumble a little bit. Hatchling? Nah, I'll just I'll put an extra shiv and fire in over a harpooner. <laughs> This deck's boring. Well, yeah, we just, you know, died on, you know, turn five or whatever. Like, you can't really do anything exciting before that. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we'll just reroll the league because that was, like, ten minutes or whatever. And try again. Not going to take a ton from two decks, but it certainly does look like we're not going to be beating Mono Red that has good hands. No, I don't like Death Gorge Scavenger at all. Yeah, the Steamkins certainly hurt hurt us real bad. All right, playing against Drakes. I 
I want Swordtooth in play before Frenzy, but I also just want to play Frenzy this turn. I'm just going to play Frenzy this turn. Let's just get our Frenzy out a little earlier this time and see what we can do. So we'll just draw the forest. We're going to wait till after we draw, like when we can actually play stuff before we do things with treasure map. Right at the bottom, find lava coil. Nope. Scry this to the bottom. Look for Lanowar Elf, I guess. Nope. Yeah, so here we go. Now we got Frenzy out, and our, our turns are going to get progressively better. Presumably. But maybe not if it's... Five... That's five lands in a row. Okay. Another treasure map. Scry that, that land to the bottom. Okay. We need to find our sword tooths. Sword tooths would let us keep playing multiple lands each one of those turns. All right, time for some removal. Get at this fight with fire. All right, land war elf, get on over here. There's fight with fire. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We use all of our treasures. That's worth it, though. Worth. Uh, no, do four, five, and one. Yeah, we're get got all those lands out. That's what we need to do. Right at the bottom. Okay. We'll keep that one there. <laughs> so we have the bottom seven cards or six lands. We're going to be hitting some spells here pretty soon, eventually. And it course, worst case scenario, we can pop the Frenzy and play Hellkite, and I don't, I don't really need to use a treasure just to, that treasure map, alright, that's a good one, there we go, now we're getting them spells, coil that, Get this stomping ground in here tapped. Oh, yeah, Swordtooth. Swordtooth means more lands. All right, there we go. Good turn, good turn. I think there's 25 lands in the deck, I think. Yeah, 25. So it takes Frenzy a little bit to get warmed up. Get it revved up. But once it gets going here. And I, I'm not scrying this Lava Coil to the bottom. I want to draw the Lava Coil. Because that could be a card that we maybe need against a Drake deck. So I want to just have that in the hand where we can pop the Frenzy, cast the Coil if we need it. I don't want to scry that to the bottom. Other frenzy, we'll scry that to the bottom.
Hmm. Let's... We just pop this frenzy. Play sword tooth. Play land, land, hellkite. Haste the hellkite. And pass. Yeah, Sculpted Mind, yeah, we uh, we were at 51 in donation, so I got the $50 gem pack so we could have Fight with Fire and Field of Ruin for this deck and kind of keeping up options for, af for after this. Iro, thank you so much for that sub saying this deck is awesome. Well, you know what, Iro, you are awesome. And uh, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Okay, let's. Oh, I guess I could I could just coil here. I guess we could just coil. I was gonna say let's let's test them because yeah, I didn't think they'd block. I guess I could have just coiled and then. Attacked and then dealt 10, but whatever. Uh, yeah, just upstairs. Boom! I didn't think they were blocking. Let's see. So, Shivan Fires. We can kick Shivan Fires to kill their things. That's probably good. And Vivians kill their things. And it's hard for them to deal with Carnage Tyrant. Like, Niv-Mizzet is our card to be worried about. Oh, DJM hasn't been sick in years and now has the flu. Aw. Can I remind y'all if you if you missed it earlier, we hit a sub battle countdown goal earlier. We're going to be doing taking a day of just having me play against subscribers here pretty soon. So if you're a subscriber, you'll be able to challenge me. Uh, vote if you have not in the straw poll what day you want that to be: tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. Giving people a chance to vote. Am I just <clears throat> cutting mana creatures? I guess. Just kind of play like a, a longer game, have all this removal, kind of play like as a control deck. This doesn't have the lands that we want, but it's a good hand. I like our opening up on treasure map. Our last deck was Lesnia tokens. We go treasure map and scry, making sure we hit land drops. Hey, it's Okertash.
All right, we had a, another person sign up for Harry's a little bit ago. So we are at 31. Getting that count up there. I don't know, maybe I should just fight with fire. Um, at least we got to send the Hellkite to the bottom. Alright, I like how we have Lava Coil where we get to do that and Scry. So I think we're just going to have to pop a bunch of treasures here. This ought to be good. What? I had an upkeep stop in. You're lucky I drew a land opponent. So I have to pop two treasures. So that we can play Hulkai with haste and kill this Rao. I need to make sure this doesn't happen again. I think that's worth it. I don't need the upkeep scry now. Two lands away from kicking. Fight with fire if I wait. Nah, let's, let's just pop the treasure. Five damage. Five damage. I like, I'm glad they had negate there over dive down. Because dive down uh, means we wouldn't have been able to play the other one. And I also like getting the negate out of their hand for the for the frenzy. And started with <clears throat> started with the treasure map in case they had another negate. Vivian's pretty good. That's a good card. Um, yes, I would like to pay two mana. All right, you, you got me. Double spell pierce. Phil, thanks for the song request. All right, let's just keep that on top. 
for now. Ooh, love it. Lava coil. All right, I'll get to your song request here in just a second. All right, scry. I see you have a kind message written out. All right, there. Down to one. Okay, just want to give my thanks for all the decks, deck techs, and excellent attitude towards the game. Even during crappy draws, it has made me such a better Magic player and has re-sparked my love for the game. Aw. Thank you. And perfect timing. Let's see, what do we got here for our song request? Androm Andromeba Mita Andromeda by Dance with the Dead. Can y'all hear it? It's supposed to be playing right now, but I'm I can't really hear it. Can y'all hear it? It says it's thirty one seconds in that's playing. Can't hear it. Okay. Let's try. I guess I can kind of hear it now. I'm going to try replaying this over here. See if this helps. Maybe it just starts off really quiet. I think Bant Legends has a 5-0 possibility. It'd have to, it'd have to, you know, draw pretty well. Um, but yeah, it certainly has the possibility. It has the power to, for sure. Thanks, Northern Plague. Have a good night. What I've been having the most fun with recently. Hmm. Probably quasi dupla ooze. That deck. We went 4 2 with it today. I think it's the first time we haven't gone 5 wins with it in a long time. And I, I have been. Having a lot of fun with that deck. That's that's probably the one. I mean, I guess I could have just killed Jade Light and Land War Elf, but I like getting Sword Tooth and Treasure Map in play for this frenzy next turn, so we can start going crazy next turn. Oh yeah, the Soul Type Vanifar deck is is just very strong. No, I I've only I think I've played that deck twice and got five wins both times, but no, I haven't done anything but get five wins. Like Soul Tie Explorer decks are just really good. Uh, the deck probably could use a find finality in it. Oh, I should probably lava coil that thing. Whoops. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I was just kind of talking and then just playing and just didn't even 
Sorry. Uh, well. Yeah, 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 we had lethal. My, my B. I mean, I guess we still do have lethal. Oh, yeah, because the sword tooth can attack. Yeah. So, yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. The worst part about Experimental Frenzy is we don't get to look at the awesome gruel sleeves. And, yeah, Phoenix card style is awesome, too. Just... This is definitely just a worth it playing this deck for the these gruel sleeves, this Phoenix card style. So our opponent's playing like teamer creatures. So we could have Shivan Fires to kill their mana creatures. Or not. I think I like what we got going on here. My gems burn my, burn my hands looking at those leaves. <laughs> These could be the best leaves. It's possible. Right, our hand's really good. We want to draw some lands. There we go. Basically have everything we want right now. So we... Just want to draw land. We want to go next turn, uh, Sword Tooth plus Incubation Druid. So we're able to do that now with um, drawing the land. So like you know, turn turn three, spending five mana next turn. Opponents ramping real hard too. If I pay five for Druid, then I have three, four, five left, and I cannot treasure map and frenzy. And I actually just want to play defense here. Hoping they don't have a disenchant effect. Good. Oh, I guess we're on the next song. My B. So do not want to see Hydroid Crisis from our opponent. Okay, I've not been playing this the best. So Harpooner kills the Phoenix again. 
Are they going to choose no? Okay, not fighting. Harpooner is not killing Phoenix this time. So yeah, we've seen just the power of Frenzy. Like, last turn was awesome. This turn has been very good for us as well. Kind of keeping the... Um, keeping the Field of Ruin available to be able to shuffle. We didn't hit any lands this turn, so we're looking for lands here. There's a land. Okay, so they are willing to block with the harpooner. We'll see if they have anything that deals like one damage. I'll just keep this lava coil in the deck, but not not play it. No, Sortooth. Okay, so obviously I do not want them to draw this Jellyfish Hydra Beast, one, and then two, I want the Sword Tooth still in my deck to be able to, <clears throat> oh yeah, they just have the Steam Vents left, why, I wonder why they're not playing the Steam Vents. So, <clears throat> uh, upkeep before I draw, I'm going to go ahead and Field of Ruin, I guess that's why they don't want me to Field of Ruin their Red Source, that makes sense. So I'll destroy this, make them shuffle that. Jellyfish Hydra Beast back. And I want to leave the Sword Tooth just in the deck somewhere to be able to grab. Okay. Experimental Frenzy. Getting it done. Those are some fun games of seeing what Frenzy can do. I guess the first game we didn't really do anything too much with Frenzy. We just played some flyers, but that game, Frenzy was incredible. So I like this not playing against Mono Red League. <laughs> you know, we played that, that league of two very quick matches against Mono Red. Yeah, Treasure Map also. that I shouldn't... Yeah, Treasure Map was an unsung hero of, of that that League 2 shouldn't glaze over treasure maps impact. <laughs> no, Kurtash, don't do it to us. Don't say Mono Red incoming. No. Oh, yeah, keep. I thought this was a one-lander. <laughs> I was like, ah, can I have to mulligan just a mountain? Missed the snobbing ground at first. Mono red. No. Okay. We got a mirror match here. Hmm. I guess I start scrying and looking for lands.
Okay, not quite mirror match. Close, but not quite. So Fight with Fire does let them draw a card. If I cast Fight with Fire to kill the Ripjaw Raptor. <laughs> it's a mirror march mirror match. Ooh, good. I meant to scry upkeep there. Got lucky. I think our opponent's just gonna be activating their incubation druid. And next turn, like, we're going to be activating our Druid, flipping these maps and stuff. And then I'm looking at trying to kick Fight with Fire the, the following turn. So we're at 4, 5, 6 right now. Yeah, we can definitely have not 9 mana next turn, but the following turn. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm, I'm feeling like I need to kill this kill this incubation druid here. Oh, maybe I should have just paid two life and just shocked. I guess I could have actually kicked Fight with Fire this turn if I use all the treasures. Man, this has not been my best league. If we shock, if I would have shocked, I could have actually kicked Fight with Fire and I could have maybe just kill Ripjaw and Incubation Druid, just get them both out of there. Yeah, I was worried about that thing. I'm glad they killed Phoenix first. Yeah, they order the Phoenix first. Um, but still, I, I could have just attacked with my Phoenix. And Chump locked their Incubation Druid with the Druid and then killed them right this turn with Fight with Fire with attacking with Phoenix again. I should have attacked with Phoenix last turn. But anyway, what are we going to do? If I cast Fight with Fire, 
I can kick it, do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can basically put them down to thirteen, attack them for four, put them down to nine. I think I like just doing this though, and going towards killing them next turn. With Phoenix again. All right, so all we have to do is stay alive. We can chump with these things. All we need to do is stay alive. Yeah, Galta is, was like the card that would kill us. Carnage Tyrant we, we could stay alive with. I mean, I guess I should keep that on top. Whatever. Okay. So, gave them another turn. They didn't have Galta. But gave them, gave them an extra turn, but all good. Worked out. So they're playing mana creatures and dinosaurs. We probably need to be attacking their mana creatures here. So let's get these Shivan Fires in. Uh, we can have our own dinosaurs that can tussle with their dinosaurs. Why? While Hellkite is good, it doesn't match up against dinosaurs too well. What if I just cut Hellkite? What if I just play this? I like it. I like it. Okay. We're up a game. <clears throat> Fight with Fire has been awesome for us in these creature mirrors that we've been playing against the last couple matches. And good start for us with this opener. It's pretty good turn two. We already got six permanents out there. If we draw another land, we could have nine. One permanent away from turning on Sword Tooth. Itali. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do I attack with Sword Tooth first? Yes, I do. Because if if our opponent blocked with Itali, I was going to be able to kill the Incubation Druid. But now I can't kill Incubation Druid. Because I think I have to kill Itali. So we just kill all the other stuff. So we have to deal six here. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then one upstairs, ten. That's not a bad turn four. Turn four, kick and fight with fire.
See, that's what our deck can do. That's why we don't play the explore things. We want all the mana. All the mana. I know we said somebody somebody in here was saying that the deck was boring whenever we you know died on turn five twice to mono red, but this league has been a lot of fun. We are doing a lot better. <laughs> yep, that was a planned curve for the deck. Turn one elf. Turn two, sword tooth plus another elf. Turn three, just play some more mana creatures. And then turn four, fight with fire. Keeping this because of treasure map. Without treasure map, would not be able to keep this. So we curved one and then four. If we, we spent four mana on turn two. Uh, the ten was on turn four. Turn three, we only just played a couple of mana creatures. Okay, we need land. Ugh. Whiffed. That's pretty unlucky. We saw four cards. No, three cards. We saw three cards there. Lava Coil, Incubation Druid, and then that other card we put to the bottom. Nope. All right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Except for Zakama costs white white mana. We didn't have white mana, but it was basically yeah, we could have had Zakama on turn four. If we would have had, you know, like a like a shock land that had white mana. That would have been crazy. Hawkeye, are you going to come up here? Are you just going to sit down there? What are you doing? What are you doing, Hawkeye? We're getting smothering tithed. Hawkeye. There you go. Oh, I already drew a land? What was going at? What was going on? So I think I'm going to start paying two for the Smothering Tithe. I think. Our opponent's going to be probably making us... They probably have the Ravnica Allegiance Mythic um, emergency powers. They're probably going to be making us draw seven and everything like that I know my responsibility I guess I can just kick fight with fire here I'm not ready for this quite yet no, I should probably just all right so we're gonna just pay two Use a treasure. Adapt that thing. Have this thing attacked to fairy. This is hardly my worst defeat.
yes, you can change the keybinds. I think you just go to like gameplay, and then yeah, you can you can change these things. So I'm gonna kill this treasure cove. I kind of want to wait for Ascanta and kill Ascanta. Um, I'm I've never been one. I've never been much of a bluffer. Question is, do you think bluffing in arenas is as effective in, as in, like in tabletop? I've never been a, a bluffer myself. I guess Phoenix is a good draw. Oh, I, sh I should probably just scry and keep it on top, just get a counter on the treasure map. That's the thing, what my plan was. <laughs> I thought I was sick, but at least I'm not vomiting coins. <laughs> but yes, bluffing is easier in paper. Though I guess to answer that. say good game every time your opponents attack so they think I will settle. Tooth. Why do you be right there, Sword Tooth? So they'll have like their turn with Ascanta here. I mean, that to yeah, they put the card over, flip it. Let's get an upkeep stop in. So before I draw the sword tooth, I'll feel the ruin this as Kanta. No, I like my creatures. I like my mana creature, especially. No more wraths. Don't play a deafening clarion. Don't you dare. Alright, I guess that happens.
I'm gonna leave this sword tooth in my deck. I don't really want to draw it immediately though. So we're gonna destroy this as Kanta. Get a forest. <clears throat> That's a good card to draw. And I'll pay the two. Land. Scry land at the bottom. Nothing else. It'll take a little while, but we'll have... Our Frenzy will, you know, give us a lot of card advantage in a while. Our opponent only has their two cards, nothing else here, giving them card advantage as long as we pay two mana each turn to Smothering Tithe. Well, that thing can give card advantage. That's a treasure. That's a treasure. No. I don't need no keep stop. Hellkite. And that'll be our turn. We already hit our land drop. Cycling a, a Fountain of Renewal. Now, definitely hoping that our opponent does not have removal for the Hellkite where we get to block Lannery Storm or at least, you know, not let them attack with Lannery Storm. Because each time the Lannery Storm attacks, they get to draw a card. If you show remorse... I'll show restraint. You need to slow down. I'm pretty far away from just... from copying Frenzy and casting Fight with Fire, right? Like kicking a Fight with Fire. I think I'm probably going to just pop the fight with fire, or pop the frenzy this turn so I can lava coil this lannery storm. Just draw this frenzy to have a backup. So we know we have Hellkite next. So it would be five for Hellkite, four for popping frenzy, and then still need two to lava coil this thing. I guess I'm not lava coiling the thing. Hey, Z Rancid. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for that sub. Speaking of subs, if you missed it earlier, we got we have our first sub battle is gonna happen. Here in the next couple of days, you get to vote on which day you'd like it to happen. It'll be a stream where the whole stream is just going to be myself playing against subscribers. And our next one after, you know, whichever day this is going to be, was meant to happen. it's going to be in the next 141 subs and resubs. If only we didn't have to spend the mana for 
Popping Frenzy. Love to be able to lava coil that thing right about now. But we got Teferi out of here at least. I think this next time, this next turn, I'm going to actually pop Frenzy and be able to have Phoenix and Lava Coils. Now that we don't have to worry about attacking Teferi. Ugh. Just Karn doing. I will fight for my friends. Well chosen. Can I? Can I kick fight with fire next turn? I just want to draw this card. Okay, so four to pop frenzy. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. This land drop is six. These treasures, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we could just crack and then go fight with fire. That means not paying here. Wonder if our opponent has a counter spell. I guess I can play the the Land War Elf too. It does take a, another treasure, but so we might as well just play the Land War Elf and see what else we have on top here. Okay, we can't play that. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm one mana short. I, like, I actually could not do that. could not actually play the Land War Elf. Oh, I'm actually one mana short, aren't I? Well. Never mind. Okay, good. We're not getting our fight with fire countered. Here we go. Time for Swordtooth to take over. We found Swordtooth. The lag is happening here. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's a bad lag right there. It's unclear if this was the right play of attacking Karn or just making this a 5-5. I know, of course, they have the the ability to get the, the Lava Coil, but honestly didn't really mind the Hellkite getting Lava Coil, I guess. But maybe just making it a 5-5 is a better play and letting Karn tick up. All right, at least... Lannery Storm is finally out of here. Finally. Ah, they had more lava coils. Well, that's all right. They can't draw off that card anymore. Okay. Let's go to combat. Attack with this thing.
farewell. And Good job, little Lanor Elf. Good job, little buddy. Ugh. Client needs a reset. Sword tooth. Okay, we have fought, we have fought through lots of stuff from our opponent. They got four cards now. What are these four cards? We still got our we got our seven in hand. They're chilling that we're not able to, to play. I am just kind of worried about popping frenzy of like our opponent having a counter spell for the, the new frenzy. I'm a little worried about that. Tooth. We have 25 left in our deck. Dang. Hellkite down. Coil that. Hmm. I'm a man away from pop in the frenzy here. This is a spot where considering we haven't even played a land for turn, I would not mind, honestly would not mind popping the frenzy. And just throwing down these lands. Yeah, I think our opponent's got a bunch of cleansing novas. It's certainly possible. We haven't seen any like deafening clarions. That could be a card that they're playing. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. I am proud to have fought. Okay, with another frenzy on top, I don't have to be as worried about one of them getting countered. Oh, we're just doing so many things. Just unload three lands. Yeah, I could have I could have gone for a kill. Attacking well, we still would have been a mana short, right? Attacking them at Delta Eleven. I mean we we just basically have a really good long game. Like there's we don't have to go we didn't have to be so aggressive of last turn going for it kind of thing. Yeah, we just have, have such a good late game already going. Okay, so. Banefire, Vivians, Cindervines, Carnage Tyrants. All those very good. Lava Coil out. Even Fight with Fire. I think I'm taking Fight with Fire out. I guess they could have Lyra, though. Lyra could be a reason to need to keep some Fight with Fires. We could just take out Hellkite. Stick with two fight with fires. Let's 
go with this. All right, I'm going to try to alt F4 here and try to reset. Hopefully that helps us. Yeah, Hellkite is good against their Planeswalkers. Yep. But... Oh well. Expect our opponent to have more removal, more sweepers. And Hellkite was very good that game. That was like a... Like Hellkite like had like the... Doing its best possible thing all the time. Okay, game two. What do you think of the new baby planeswalker from war? What's the new baby planeswalker? I guess I don't know. what the new baby planeswalker is. The screen looks brighter, doesn't it? Oh, okay, those though okay, just in in general the passive effect, yeah. No, I think those are those are pretty good. I think they're real similar to um Yeah, like the whole new category. Yeah. They're real similar to Ooh, I do want Sword Tooth out. Whatever it's called. The these enchantments that we just have right now. I should play around single paper one, I guess. Like there's they're similar to these enchantments that have like the three chapters. Sagas. There we go. Sagas. That's that's a word. All right, so now we're in the battle of mana. Play the frenzy. They could have a disenchant effect, also. So I'm glad we have a, ba a backup frenzy. Oh, spell pierce. Oh, what a killer! Oh, what a killer! Spell pierce. After like our whole deck is just built around mana, yet they have spell pierce. Ah. Record for this deck so far is 3-0. We're Girl Frenzy, we're 3-0. We played a league where we lost two rounds to Mono Red really quick. And so we reset the league, restarted, and we are now 3-0 in this league. Oh, but I want my Vivian, but I want to destroy their treasure cove. 
Oh, I guess I'm, I can't play that Vivian anyway, because I'm just going to draw it. So let's just destroy this treasure cove. Okay. Wait, we still have Vivian? Wow, that's lucky. Lucky-ish. Again, we can't really play it, but... It's there. Man, Frenzy's great. It's like, oh no, our opponent could play a Wrath and destroy all these things. Well, that was kind of just our one turn for us. That was basically just our draw step, but yet we still actually put a Vivian in our hand too. And we hit a land drop. <laughs> Dude, Frenzy's so much value. Alright, we'll take the land. I'll take the land. Hmm. Usually I would just consider just like, you know, feel the ruining. To reshuffle. But our opponent has Ascanta, and I definitely want to destroy the Ascanta. All right, so they are not flipping. Search for Ascanta. I put an upkeep stop on their turn because if they keep the card on top and flip Ascanta, then I want I want to destroy it. Even if they don't keep it on top, either way, I want to destroy their Ascanta before their draw step. So they have less information about what card to take off of Escanta because they don't know what they're drawing yet. And they also have less information about, you know, like how much mana they'll have, like all that kind of stuff. That's a great card for the opponent. That, that's going to get them back in here. Yeah, this is kind of like playing the, the green-white modern deck with our... with playing all the lands off the top of the library. I'm certainly all about that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll see if they have spell pierce. If not, they did. Just a casual ten damage here, and then incubation druid attack for three. No spell pierce. Boom. So never mind about the whole thing about that explosion, getting them back in it. And we are 4-0. and oh. And we cannot hit play, right? Yeah, because if you alt F4 during a game, you got to reset again. All right, 4-0, final boss time. Can we do it? We haven't gotten to five wins yet tonight. Can this be the league? Ow. Getting tail whipped from Hawkeye. Hawkeye, I need to get to my final boss playlist. I think it's boss playlist. Yeah. All right, so we just want to draw lands. We got our frenzy sword tooth combo. 
perfect. That's a land. Just wanna keep drawing lands. Oh no, not not mono red. Please not mono red. Be like Drakes or something. Yay, Drakes. Or something. Yay, Drakes or something. And then I, I guess we should play Hellkite before Frenzy. I don't know, playing Frenzy is pretty sweet. But I guess this is a good matchup for Hellkite. Electromancer. Well, they got their cheap spells again. We we could spend four mana next turn to kill this Electromancer. Hmm. So do we kill Electromancer or do we play Frenzy? I guess we're just supposed to kill Electromancer, right? Man. I kind of want to play Frenzy. Let's just let's just kill it. Yeah, frenzy is like the the more fun play, and then also it has like really high upside. If if we play frenzy and we have land land on top, you know, not only do we really expand our mana base, but then that also turns on sword tooth, and we get to attack for ten. But it's just the safest, just to kill the. Kill the wizard. So no phoenixes, right? Yeah, no phoenixes. Alright, now time for Frenzy. Get another land. Ah. Not a land. Land would have let us attack with Sword Tooth. Because we're at nine permanents. So close to ascending. Oh no! The Bacon Bolt. All right, come on, deck. What do we got? Fielder rune. Okay. Um, this will blow this up. We don't get to play two lands a turn anymore. Okay, druid. Not the worst turn, you know, we got we hit a land drop and played a druid. So there's their first Phoenix. Speaking of Phoenixes. Our phoenix looks cooler than yours. Ours is burning up trees. Burninating the countryside. So fight with fire would be the best card to see. Fight with fire just kills our opponent. Fight with fire. Alright, we'll take that. Um, do I throw out another frenzy here? Yeah. Ugh.
We did not... If we had already hit our land drop, I, I don't think I'm casting that Frenzy, but we had not hit a land drop. Yeah, this is a large Drake. I like having both of these back on D. All we need to do is find a fight with fire. There's three of them in the deck. We haven't seen one yet. More lava coils would be would be good too. Three more of those in the deck also. just the safest thing is getting that thing out of here. Okay. Not playing that frenzy. We got our land drop. We can activate Hellkite. I don't really like I don't really love attacking with phoenixes too much here because our opponent just gets to get their phoenixes back and it turns on shocks. If our opponent just has shocks, they get to like shock my phoenix token. I don't like them just being able to shock the egg token. We did get all the frenzies. Oh, our frenzy has a ribbon. Look at that. But yeah, so if we just go face end step and then untap, then we can go face, face, face. Whew. Never mind. So they played they've played two things so far. There's Fight with Fire. Upstairs. Boom. There we go. Okay, so Cannonade does clear up Phoenixes and Electromancers. Hey, Midnight Slayer just subbed. Tired of this notice popping up every day. Well, thanks, Midnight Slayer, for hit, hitting that notice. Getting the sub hype in the chat. That is number 140. Going back down here. And boom goes the dynamite. So I want these. So I think I want Shivan Fires though. Oh, the other resub was like two weeks ago? Oh, well, I guess you got, you got counted twice. All of our cards are pretty good. Do we just trim treasure map? I think maybe I trimmed mana creatures when I played this matchup earlier. But they didn't have... It wasn't a Phoenix matchup. It was just Drakes. Like I, I like Harpooner better against Drakes than Phoenix. Let's try doing this. We'll bring in two Harpooners. And I'm going to cut Incubation Druids. 
for two harpooner, two shiv and fire. All right, good hand. Like to draw sword tooth. Where are they on Molda Five? I guess so. Do I need to upkeep scry anything? Not really. Let's see what we get. Card's fine. <laughs> That's an early GG there, 619. Our opponent can still go crazy with Phoenixes. This is not a game over yet. They could have just Niv Miz it. And we need uh, all the mana to kill the Crackling Drake. Well, I mean, our opponent has, like, the same number of cards as we do right now. Even though they only started with five. So I guess I want to empty my hand because of Frenzy. So I'll just fight this thing. Even though they can get it back, but then they get it back and we fire it. Then they have to try to work to get it back again. It's kind of difficult for them. Sure, I'll take the land. Ugh. Dang, I like Lava Coil. But, gonna scry it to the bottom. Keep that right there. Ooh. Hell kite. Just ample stroke. Rude. Tooth. Dude, Frenzy's so awesome. Man, love it. Ah, this deck's so much fun to play when it gets going like this. So much fun to play. Oh no. Um. Well, I guess we're popping the Frenzy here. Let's get a couple more lands for free. We'll do this scry. Alright, uh, pop Frenzy. If 
fight. Hmm. New frenzy. Yeah, Frenzy's the kind of card that's like, I'll play this card. All right, now I'll play this card. And your opponent's like, okay, so you're done, right? Like, no, nah, I'm going to play this card. Okay, well, I'll, my turn now. I'm going to play this card. All right, what do we get to do this turn? Do I want to play another Frenzy? Yeah. Alright, shuffle. Hopefully they don't have disdainful stroke. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just go ten upstairs, attack with these two land war elves. Oh yeah, disdainful stroke does not counter that. Good call. It does not. They would need would have had to, to need negate or an instant speed removal spell like a shock for a Llanowar Elf. But they did not. And that was it. Five and O. Oh. Get our twenty one hundred gold, our forty gems. <laughs> How much morning effort does it take to stay this beautiful? Not much at all. Just. Just, you know, do what I can. The five win dream has been achieved. So we, ha we had a one event where we got paired against mono red twice, lost both of those. Oh, and two. Changed out one card, it took out a Kral Harpooner for a Shivan Fire. And I guess I did not update the deckless command to show that. So we have two Shivan Fires, three Harpooners. I'll update that now. E Weaver on the four month streak for 19 months. Weaver, thank you so much. So yeah, fought back hard after being down 0 2. Restarted. And there we go. Got the 5-0 after that. <clears throat> Definition of an all or nothing deck. No, the Frenzy's... Man, Frenzy was so good, that, that league. We got to really see its power. That was a fun five matches. Uh, we had some. We had a, quite a few good hands. Like, basically, we, we had Frenzy's all the time, you know? It wasn't something like we were struggling of just, like, having a bunch of lands and not being able to find Frenzy kind of thing. Um, yep, that's, that's the morning. Put on MeUndies, use the Quip Toothbrush, maybe need it, you know, depending on the morning, get a nice shave in with the Harry's razor. I am wearing my MeUndie socks right now, and man, these are, like, for somebody, I've worn dress socks in like just tons and tons of different brands of dress socks from getting like the Spreza box each month that has a pair of socks. And so I'm, I'm used to having just, you know, I'm used to wearing dress socks one and then dress socks of like, you know, 40 different brands. These MeUndies are, I can honestly say these socks are the most comfortable of them. They're very thick, just really thick. They're nice and stylish. See, nice stylish socks. Very thick. If I was, you know, walking around in my dress shoes a lot, I'd 
be very comfortable in these. Um. Anyway, that's that though. If you want to, if you want to check out the socks for yourself, get fifteen percent off. Use my referral link. You get fifteen percent off. Check them out. Um. I don't change my dress socks to match the deck that I'm playing. Whenever, like, whenever I was like, you know, out in public teaching or um, during tournaments and everything, I would, I would always make sure my dress socks would match my tie. That was my thing. I wanted my socks to match my tie, and so uh, that's how I, uh, you know, dress them. No, I'm sorry to hear that, Sway. I'm glad you're here, but sorry to hear that. <laughs> Scott, we need a sock emote. Anyway, I guess I'm kind of rambling on. Uh, that was Gruel Frenzy. Had a lot of fun. That was a, yeah, that was a very fun league. The Domri avatar was good. The Gruel sleeves were amazing. Playing a whole bunch of things off of Frenzy is always fun. So there we go there. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Gruel Frenzy, and I'll see you for the